वेलकम टू माई प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज दिस इज एन ऑन गोइंग सीरीज ऑन एस सी पी यू एफ आई प्रोजेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो विल लर्न हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट अ डेस्टिनेशन इन एस सी पी यू आई फाइव सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डेस्टिनेशन इंटीग्रेशन यू नीड टू हैव अ बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ डेस्टिनेशन एंड वाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन एस सी पी यू आई फाइव एंड एस सी पी बी टी पी ऑल्सो यू नीड टू हैव एक्सेस ऑफ एन आई डी ई इट कैन बी वेब आई डी और एस ए पी बास दैट इज बिजनेस एप्लीकेशन स्टूडियो एज वेल एज बी टी पी एक्सेस so that you can create a destination and use the same in your btp remember whatever btp you are using and the id you are using both should be connected it means if you are using web id and a btp both should be connected if you are using a bas and btp again again they both should be connected apart from that you need to have basic knowledge of ui5 so there are multiple types of destinations in btp so we'll be discussing only three of them the very first one is new destination and in this video we'll be discussing and focusing only on new destination in next videos we'll also consider others okay so let's jump into this article so this article link will be shared with you in the video description in this article we have discussed all different type of integrations of destinations and how to use it also we have discussed the theoretical part as well as coding part also we'll discuss uh, this northwind destination creation later on in terms of coding but this link is shared in the description where it is taught how to create a destination for northwind northwind is a o data service a free o data service that you can use to create test application also we'll share this link in the description here new app json configuration is shared so this is the official documentations from sap fine so we'll jump to the coding part so before we actually start connecting destination we need to have destination right so we have created two destinations for you the very one first one is a test destination with a url this url can be any third party url in our case it was youtube okay so in sap btp neo cockpit if you see the the neo cockpit is here so neo is the one where the database is of sap if it is cloud foundry the database becomes of some third party that is aws azure google cloud platform something like that so their integration is a bit different in terms of ui5 coding but in destination creation in btp platform is same so you go to destination section and add a new destination add a name the name will be the one that will be used to integrate choose type and uh, again give a description provide an url where the api call will be made proxy type is something if it is an internet based integration if it is a i can just click on edit and show you this options or if it is an on premise you know odata service is there on premise configuration is required and again authentication options are there where you can use any different type of authentication for our use case will be having no authentication and also we'll have some additional fields it's like uh, what all functionality you want to enable so we want to use it with a web id right that's why we have made it uh, enable true so like this we have created one more service and that is for northwind so northwind service looks something like this this uh, for this we have given a reference so that you can just follow that reference and create your own northwind service fine so once we are done with service creations or destination creations we go to web id and the very first thing is new app.json file so once you create a application so if i just go to create a new application from template so i can choose different environments right new cloud foundry web in new sap ui5 is there in cloud foundry again sap ui5 is there right the basic difference is that once the application template is created one file new app.json is added in case of new apps in case of cloud foundry apps access app.json is added that's the only difference and the configurations are also almost same but we'll discuss cloud foundry app in the later videos so once you reach here some 
files like routes will be auto created within the routes a lot of different objects are there right in the very end part we have added two objects like this the very first one is the path this is a path that uh, your application will be using this is not something you have to worry like if uh, this is defined in you know uh, in cloud foundry or not or in btp or not no it's for your own reference this is the name of the destination that's it this is the name that is used to trigger the destination ultimately same is with the north wind one right so we have the destination is north wind same thing that we created like this name and uh, other features are also copied from this particular destination configuration so once you create these objects till here and here now your entire application you can use this references for youtube we wanted to just call the the destination to get the link that's it we are not loading any model and all so that's why i will just show you the code I'll disable this part I'll disable the code for uh, north wind so as of now we are looking into the as of now we are looking into the integration directly from destination and for that i will just enable this so if i go here the destination name is destination slash youtube right and it is calling the test destination in the cloud foundry or btp portal and uh, here we are triggering the destination name so the configuration will be in new objection calling from viewer controller and the configuration over the btp platform that's it in case you are calling third party api so this is required in case you know uh, you have a third party api you want to do iframe integration or some other type of integration but you do not want to expose your link in the website code so in that use case you use a destination so we'll run the application youtube takes some time to you know load also uh, sometimes it gives some errors but i will see what happens so so ultimately youtube has loaded and uh, whatever link we have given in the url same thing is loaded here so you see the youtube is loaded within the application like this and we have not specified any youtube url anywhere in the ui5 application perfect so next the use case is using destination for all data con configurations and all now i have enabled a table go back to the code of controller and manifest four files are involved in creation of destination for all data in case of neo so first you configure the destination of your o data here in our case it is north wind second you call the north wind from the manifest so within the data sources i am calling the destination north wind and i have also added the link that i want to call so ultimately in the configuration i have called until here this is the url so once i will be calling the url these things will be replaced with this url and the rest will be added fine and now this data source is used to create a model here within the models i have a unnamed model and uh, yeah it is using the data sources northwind model that we have created here perfect so now the model is created this model can be utilized directly with the by the view or we can just uh, call a particular uh, entity set right so i am calling this model i am setting it as a use batch default uh, as false otherwise batch calls will be made and batch calls actually trigger the post operations and northwind does not support that so that's why we made it false for our use case but otherwise uh, in the regular use cases you don't need this line of code again you perform odata.read calling a particular entity set in success you are using that data and setting it as a named model as custom customer model right 
so this is a json model you are creating here and setting this as customer model in the view now the entire view has something called customer model and it will be having a results object within that we will have an array of data and that particular array of data will also have fields for product name so we can check later like right now if we run this application open up uh, the inspect element click on metadata perfect so we have a lot of things coming customer customer id employee orders product is here right this is the entity set that we are binded and also we have binded uh, the product name with the table and we'll see it loads perfectly right so all data is loaded here so yeah that's it that's how you integrate a destination in new environment thank you very much you can drop your issues in the comments below